Hello, I'm Ruben Tena, your Agile coach, and today I want to talk about the mythical, the dream of a lot of Agile practitioners, sometimes the nightmare of some project managers, the Agile transformation. So this term has been so overused that a lot of people is just skeptical, right? But when done well, Agile methods can bring real, tangible results that nobody can neglect. If you want to move your career to the next level and being able to own, lead, and drive an IR transformation, you are in the right place because we are going to share what is that blueprint for success. Are you ready? Let's get started. Agile transformation depends on your unique situation. That means that every Agile transformation is going to be different. Why? It's simple because they involve people. It's not just about the systems and the process. When we transform, it could imply big change in the organization. As soon as you start messing up with people's identities by changing the roles or the way that they work, you can face an unlimited amount of resistance. So it's going to be important to understand what is the best way to manage this change. Within organizations, we mainly have two types of systems, complicated and complex ones. Some systems are complicated. What I mean with that? This type of system has predictable parts, like a house, for example. Building a house, yes, is difficult, and maintaining the house also could be even harder. But we can always rely on best practices or call an expert to fix the problem, because it's really well known. However, other systems like cities are complex with un unpredictable interactions where problems cannot be really solved, only managed. Agile transformations are more complex than complicated, and that's an important distinction. While choosing the right framework matters, people and interactions matter the most. If you catch the reference to the manifesto, please let me know in the comments. Understanding how to navigate the complexity will be the key to lead a successful Agile transformation. Let's talk about it. In my experience, successful Agile transformation has two characteristics. First, we need to make it comprehensive. That means that we need to involve everyone in the organization, all departments, roles, and activities. So it's not the job of IT only anymore. So what we want to achieve is to have the vision, the strategy, and the execution aligned. That means that we also need the help of departments like human resources, finance, and legal. Without alignment, parts of your organization will absolutely fail, even with agile teams. So please, be careful. The second characteristic that I saw is that transformations must be iterative. That means that you cannot plan everything upfront. Common approaches include Big Bang, Step by Step, and Bottom Up. When a Big Bang, as its name in place, you change everything at once. Step by step, you will run multiple pilots, learn, and improve. And the Bottom Up, you will start with a single team, and then you will continue growing from there. The most likely scenario is that you will need to use a combination of all these strategies. Remember, there is not going to be a single receipt that fix everything. Start where you are and evolve there. Because we are going to be dealing with a complex system, the idea is start small, think big. All right? How to not do an Agile transformation? For some reason, I see this common anti-pattern too many times. How that looks like? You will have like this upfront planning for the transformation itself. This plan will include the list of all the teams that needs to be transformed. The first step, create an assessment to see how bad these teams are. Then a basic training, let them execute to whoever they understood. Next, assess the teams one more time and then punish them because they didn't achieve the level of agility that we are expecting and repeat. In other words, we use a traditional approach to become agile and that's a big mistake. 
Instead, use Agile to become Agile. <laughs> I know that that sounds obvious, but a lot of times is forgotten. How this looks like? First, identify assumptions, design an approach, don't overthink it too much. It doesn't need to be perfect. Second, define where to start, which area or set of teams or your organization can be representative enough. Third, run a pilot, right? Or most likely a set of pilots where you can get feedback really frequently and improve the initial assumptions and design. Fourth, repeat until you see like the results or where the trend is going towards the expected outcomes. And after that, when you have some level of confidence, then scale to the rest of the organization. But before scale, there is an important inflection point. Ensure that the groups, the backbone of your organization, like HR, finance, and legal, adopt Agile too. They must be aligned, as we mentioned before. They must be having the benefits of Agile so we can go to error into this new way. Most likely, you will need change in policies, in job titles, in compensation. So, of course, we need them fully on board. I know that agile transformations could be overwhelming and being able to handle them is not an easy task. I faced this struggle by myself, especially because having an experience executing this type of project is always a requirement in order to get that next senior or director or higher promotion and position. That's why I created the ATL Compass. It's a guide for free that includes all the best material that I found and the order that I recommend to tackle them that it helped me to move my skills to the next level. Please don't forget to uh, download the guide by clicking in the link in the description and in the comments. It's completely free. There are two reasons to go Agile. First one could be a burning platform. Something really bad is happening and we need to fix it as soon as possible. Or the second one, the preferred one, is a visionary leadership, where leaders are already foreseeing what is coming next in the future and they prefer to adapt right away. Organizations often stick to what works until it doesn't. So the key is to recognize when we need to change. Agile transformation are journeys that require a lot of teamwork. Remember that people don't always resist to the change itself, they resist to treats to their identity. So be careful. Using Agile principles like autonomy, transparency, experimentation, and continuous learning creates organizations that adapt to today's world. While transforming to Agile can seem overwhelming, don't be done. Change can start small but spread really fast. As one Agile leader said, there are decades where nothing happens and there are weeks where decades happen. If you want to move your career to the next level using Agile as a platform for you and your organization success, then Great, you are in the right place and just hit that subscribe button and committed to help you in your journey. Thanks for watching, see you next time and cheers to your agile success. Bye bye.